A family is grieving tonight after a one year old drowned in Margate. A baby's grandfather tells NBC6 that he enjoyed all of the moments they spent together. He's now reminding other parents to always keep an eye on their children. Jamie Garola is in Margate with a heartbreaking story tonight. Tonight in the front yard where this happened, a memorial for legend love. That was his name. He was supposed to turn two years old next month. I just go straight in my room and I go straight in my bed and sleep. After a long day of work Tuesday, Anthony Johnson says he wasn't feeling well and just went straight to bed. He left his one-year-old grandson, Legend Love, with his babysitter in the living room. I didn't even take him up yesterday. That's the first time I come in. I didn't take him up. So that, that hurt me. I didn't take him up and, and, and I take him up and like this. So I, I just went in because I wasn't feeling well. And, and then I just wake up with this sad, like the screaming and that's it. That screaming from the babysitter who pulled Legend out of the pool. Johnson immediately woke up and sprung into action when he realized Legend ended up in the pool. To me, that baby was dead already. Uh, when, when I take him up and I say, Legend, I can feel it just like nothing. And when I, and I pump his belly, he, 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 he just, he just he like the, the, the fumes come out of his mouth and that's it. And then I was just sitting there praying to God and asked God to bring him through. But, but Johnson says God had a different plan. Legend was unresponsive before paramedics arrived. He was transported to the hospital and pronounced dead. Man, I enjoy every moment of that baby because he is so happy with me. We, we play, we do everything. Johnson says he'll especially remember the night before the drowning. He walk, I walk with him all around the block and come back and he go back inside. And I said to his mother, he enjoy this. And Peter didn't know this was the last, that was the last walk with him. According to Johnson, Legend accessed the pool through his bedroom. He was asleep and says the babysitter wasn't paying attention. According to the Florida Department of Children and Families, so far this year, 18 children have drowned in Florida. 2023 saw 99 child drownings and 93 in 2022. Johnson hopes this tragedy serves as a reminder for all parents and caretakers. It's a bad experience. I wouldn't want to relive this again. And I, I can't tell anyone today. With, with young toddlers, two year old, three year old, or whatever it is, you gotta pay perfect attention every minute because they, they will hurt themselves. There are no safeguards around the pool. So far, no charges have been filed. The family has set up a GoFundMe page. You can get to that by going to our website at NBC6.com. In Margate, Jamie Garola, NBC6 News.